month reading for June. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, getting out your energy over here. We have the tower coming out. This is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Um, with the clarifying card is moving on. That also clarifies the entire reading. So it's talking about having this upheaval, having this plans falling through, um, breaking down of a situation. Um, definitely, definitely things are not going good over here. Um, somebody might have went cold on you in a relationship. You might be done in a relationship. See what's going on, moving on from a relationship, saying I'm done with this. Okay. Done with this job. I'm done with this relationship. Okay, let's see. It's bailing out. Whatever it is, it's a bailout. Okay. Getting straight into the situation. Situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Yeah, definitely moving on in the recent past, some cloudy days, and in the near future, the inference in upside down, neglect, feeling like things are neglected, feeling like you're, things are not, you're not being heard, um, they're counterproductive, if it's at work, maybe that's, you know, and you still feel this way, maybe you're getting ready to bail out, maybe you haven't done so yet, you're just thinking about it, um, Empty promises from this other person, resistance, and of course then that rejection. Maybe you're rejecting someone. Let's see what's going on over here, my friends. So getting straight over here into the recent past over here, showing this cloudy days. Things are not going your way. Your desires and intentions are not coming through. Someone could be causing these dark days. We also have careful the red flags over here, so really paying attention to those. Challenge, making you stand your ground, feeling like you're always in a challenge. Page of Wands, unloyalty. You could feel like a Aries or a Sagittarius, it could even be a Leo, is, got Leo over here too, is, uh, well, we've got a lot of Leo, so definitely could be a Leo for some of you, is not loyal to you, feeling disloyalty, feeling like they didn't stand up for you, putting you in a challenge mode. They should have been there for you, um, and they weren't. Maybe at work they threw you under the bus. Maybe in life they threw you under the bus, because it feels like a lot of throwing under the bus over here for some of you. They weren't there. They were disloyal, and now they want to challenge the friendship. They want to challenge the relationship, and it feels like you are having to stand your ground within this situation. Uh, Eight of Cups moving on over here, going straight over here to the present. So I see where you're moving on from this, saying, I don't want that. So it feels like more like, like the moving on over here is more like moving away, um, pulling back away from the relationship. Clarifying on the Eight of Cups. Four of coins, holding tight to what you want to hold tight to, because this is all chaotic. Moving away from the hassles of this person and moving towards the things you need yourself, holding tight to your own priorities. And because there was no win-win situation, whatever this situation is, there's no winning. Um, yeah, it's only fighting. This person seems to want to argue with you a lot. There's a lot of conflict going on in this situation and disharmony. It feels like you're going to bail out of this situation. Like I said, either you already have done so when you walk away right now, or you're still thinking, you know what, I'm going to walk away. Take it how it resonates, but there is definitely this pullback for sure. And I do see that you're like had enough because it feels like even if you hold tight to the relationship, it's just going to end up disloyal. They just want to argue. And you, yeah, even if you haven't 100% left, you are definitely withdrawing. And it feels like you are withdrawn. Not talking to them, hiding out, keeping to yourself, ignoring them, 
because you've had enough of this and you've moved on. Let's see what they're doing. Knight of Swords. The Emperor. Oh, they seem very self-assured, don't they? They really want a new beginning with you. They do feel like, it does feel like they do keep trying to come back to try to do something, but it ends up the same all the time. They seem proud and sure of themselves. If this is a boss, it's almost like, you know, they are going to continue to be the authority figure no matter what until you actually leave the situation and bail out of the situation. They're not going to give you any slack. You see what I'm saying? They're always going to, yeah, they're not supportive of you at all at work. They're just against you. Could even be coworkers, um, whoever this may be, but there's no support system from this person. And definitely it feels like when you do need some kind of support, um, some service, or you need some kind of help at work or wherever the situation is, that they're not there. Um, It's almost like cut me some slack, but it seems like they won't cut any slack if it's a, a job. So if it's a job, you're definitely underdetermined over here to even want to be of supporting service to this person because it seems like they're just, you know, you're, they always put you in this challenge mode. They're not helpful. <laughs> not helpful at all. It could even be like a general manager or assistant manager it could be like an assistant manager throwing you under the bus to the general manager or a supervisor throwing you under the bus to the general manager something like this or a co-worker throwing you under the bus saying that, that was supposed to be their job and you say no it wasn't that was your job so it does feel like if it's at work, it, there's definitely some throwing under the bus over here. Um, if this is a lover or a friendship or anything of that nature, it's just we can't get along. You're not loyal to me. You were supposed to be here for me in the past and you weren't. With the imprints upside down, like I said, there's this neglectful feeling over here. Oh, wow. Now it's coming up as manipulation. Definitely whoever this Aries, Taurus is, and then this, all this Leo, Sag, it's all the same. So it definitely could be an Aries. It could be a Leo. It could be a Sagittarius. It doesn't matter. It's really coming up as fire um, as the person who's really doing this to you. No wonder you want to bail out. It feels like you can't. It feels like even if you were to do anything, Capricorn, there would be nothing you could really do about this situation because it goes from disloyalty to then you threw me out of the bus, under the bus, or, you know, maybe that was the disloyalty to now all of a sudden in the near future, you're manipulating a situation, um, neglecting your responsibilities, resisting what you're supposed to resist. It just feels like this resistant. And it could also be you also coming up as the end as the imprints also trying to resist and just ignore them, not listening to them anymore. Definitely could totally be the imprints right now because look, you're already hermited. So this could be like, I'm not listening to your empty promises anymore. I'm not listening to anything. Leave me alone. And as you are trying to be left alone because you're bailing out, they're trying to now con the situation, manipulate the situation. Contradict a situation, could be everything. Um, four of Wands. It's like you're just trying to keep your grounding. The Four of Wands, like I'm just trying to keep stable over here. Just, you know, it just feels like I just want to be left alone. Um, you know, I have hopes and promises of doing the, my own thing. I don't need your manipulation. And they could be manipulating hopes and promises, and that's a lot right there. Promising you this, promising you that, manipulating it so that you'll come towards them. Promising you a bunch of empty promises. Wow. So in the near future, I would be careful of that. on that uh, the wheel of fortune upside down yeah this is bad promises this is this is no change this isn't going to bring anything these promises that they're asking you are is no change it's it ends up the same 
there's no destiny in that. There's no fate. There's nothing there. They're not changing any anything. So they just feels like they're just offering a bunch of nothing. They make it sound like, well, if we do this, we're going to have some good luck, you know, and it's not. It's not doing anything. No, it's just trying to get you back underneath kind of their thumb. So that way they, it makes them feel like you're not sad or depressed anymore. They think they're cheering you up in some ways, you know what I mean? Because they're trying to get what they want, but you're going to separate yourself from this. Um, it looks like the best thing to do is just separate yourself from this person and keep yourself separated. Um, yeah, for your own emotional basis. Because what they don't realize is they think that they're doing something by giving you hope, false hopes and false changes. Um, but it's not doing anything. It's just the manipulation of trying to kind of beg you back. Keep you under their thumb type of situation. Yeah. And I just feel like that's what they're, they don't want you to leave the job. They don't want you to do this and that. Could be doing it so they don't get in trouble themselves. I don't know. A seven of coins. Maybe they don't want the big boss to know. Maybe this is keeping you, trying to keep your mouth shut from getting them in trouble. Maybe they're afraid you're going to tell. You know, I mean, think about it. I mean, if it's a coworker who's doing all these horrible things and you haven't said nothing, you know, uh, maybe they're trying to give you, you know, all these false hopes and prides over here to keep you from saying something to the big boss, right? Um, I mean, and maybe you are thinking about doing so, maybe you're not. However it is, it looks like you're bailing out away from whatever the situation is. Um, if it's a work situation, if it's a love situation, you're just, you're really just going to hermit away from them. And it looks like they really want to keep you in their control. It feels like a control issue. I don't care if it's a friend. I don't care if it's a family member. I, you know, it doesn't matter. And a seven of coins, there's no growth over here. The only thing that you can do is just kind of keep your emotions together so that you can figure out where you're going to go next with the seven of coins. Um, so that way, you know, you can feel like you're more flexible. Maybe you feel like there's an inflexibility at this time, but however it is, you don't trust this person. You know that there's this untrusting feeling about them. Um, and that's just good feeling. You know that, and you know that no matter what, I need a break from love. I don't need to be here. Right. So that you can just kind of put yourself back together. And it feels like also in the near future, you're kind of perceiving things even more so than before. Because now you're even more self-assured when they start acting like this, that this is, you know, maybe we really do need, you know, to separate, like really move on. Right, because you're having these real feelings now as you get crystal clear about the situation. Because it almost feels like now they've even gone further than maybe they have gone before taking it to the next level. Um, almost into this almost like, um, I don't know, like I said, manipulative, trying to keep you in check over here. And if this is a love relationship, please give me a card for Capricorn for the love. <clears throat> Clarify on the love, please. Okay. Yeah, not wanting to express your love anymore. If this is a love relationship. Not wanting to give this a chance anymore. Okay, and let's see what they feel. How do they feel? Now that we know kind of pretty much what you guys are feeling. They don't even want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. What? No, because they're too busy manipulating the situation. Why would they actually want to do a heart-to-heart, -heart, right? Engagement. Some of you are engaged to this person, and they want to make the effort because of the engagement, but they don't want to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What? Whoa. Keep an open mind and pay attention to the red flags. Wow, that just flew.
But that's when it, you know, you got to pay attention to the red flags over there. So. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.